can start, right? <clears throat> Hi, everyone. My name is Ayani, as Mike mentioned. So once again, how many of you are here for the very first time? That's awesome. That's almost like 40% of you. And how many of you have attended a developer meetup in Singapore before? And how many of you have never attended? And this is your first one. Awesome. So my project that I'm going to be talking about is about the developer community in Singapore in general. And then I'll be specifically pulling out stats about the iOS community, which includes Swift and Objective-C and so on and so forth. So my day job is a web developer, but more importantly, I also started uh, watching you know, the iOS uh, Stanford lectures uh, last Christmas, and hopefully I can do another talk specifically on Swift in a few months. So this is the project that I'm going to be talking about. It's about some graphs and data and charts about the Singapore developer community in general. But more than that, I want to talk about the project behind it. So about four years ago, uh, I wanted to learn about web development. I traditionally come from electrical engineering, so web development was pretty daunting to me. So in order to find out where are the developer meetups in Singapore, I wanted to connect with my fellow developers. I started a very simple project. As you can see, this is the first Git commit on 28th December 2012. It was a static page. All I did was list out on the left-hand side the events that are happening for free on any programming language or electronics in Singapore. And on the right-hand side, I would go to GitHub and list out open source repositories from Singapore. It was a static website. Now, although the design has remained exactly the same over the four years, the internal, the back end has changed. So let me explain to you how that works. Every hour, we query API from Facebook, Eventbrite, and meetup.com, and list this chronologically. As you can see, iOS Dev Scout is right here. So it happens all uh, automatically. And on the right-hand side, it goes to GitHub API and queries by the location. If you have put your location Singapore and something else, and also your repository was updated within the last three uh, months, and you have at least 50 stars, it comes out over here. So this happens all automatically, and it was just going on and on until about, about 28th August 2014. One of our friends were like, are there past events stored somewhere? Obviously, we did not store because who cares about the past event? We only want to know about the upcoming events. And then he wants to do some maths. And then we were like, okay, so why don't we try to snapshot every day? So the result of that was data.webuild.sg, and that's what I'm going to share with you. So what we did was every day we had a bot, which was a GitHub user by itself. And as you can see, at 3 a.m., it will basically take a snapshot of all the events in JSON format and all the repositories in JSON format. And it will just create a snapshot, a file each. And this was happening over the course of year 2015. And we kind of forgot about it until we came and consolidate. So once again, this is how the repository, or rather the API endpoint of repositories look like. As you can see, uh, it has a meta node and then the repositories and this is the name of uh, the github and then the url and some information about the repository similarly we also did the same thing about the events as you can see the first one starts with ios dev scout because according to time this is the latest one and it has location group url rsvp and so on and so forth so all we did was collect the json files and give about 10 graphs to it so are you all curious to see how the graphs look like all right, so I'm going to show you the graphs. In the graphs, you will literally see a story of a very young developer community, but it is definitely growing, and it is growing very fast. And my point of here coming and speaking to you is to join this growing story. So let's start. This is the first one. This is the repositories updated every week. So as you can see, this was started right from December 2015. And you can see it started very low. So only a year ago, there were barely six repositories above 50 stars that were updated. And look at this. Like, even in January, we had the highest ever. That was 28. So once again, join in and contribute and get help from one another right here and make this number even higher. So let me show another one. This is update activities according to the programming language. So you can see uh, a lot of the programming language. And this is where I would specifically point out to you about Swift. 
Swift is a pretty new language, right? Swift 2.0 came out, and you can already see that 24 times uh, it was updated. And there is, of course, Objective-C as well, which had a lot of updates last year. So as an iOS community, it is definitely one of the active ones in Singapore. Next, I would like to point out active user groups. And how many of you would like to like, attend other developer user groups apart from iOS? All right, so you can go to this page. And by the way, because we query APIs, none of the data here is stale. They are always being constantly updated. So in the past year, if this user group has held at least five events, they are listed here. And I would specifically, once again, point out iOS Dev Scout has held seven events over the course of last 52 years. And I have brought Ferro Roche here. And I would like to give this one to Mike, because you're one of the co-founders of iOS. And where's Sub? Come here, Sub. <laughs> so thank you for contributing to the iOS community here. Thank you. All right, so that was about the open event. So come and join. And I know that as organizers, they always need fresh people to be the organizers. So come and join in. Next, uh, briefly, I would also want to point out repositories by programming language. And hopefully, some of the people's repositories that come up here are already here, so that I can give more Pararoshe to all of you. All right, let's see. Uh, which shall we start, Swift or Objective-C? Which one do you want to see Objective first? Objective-C. Because Objective-C is traditionally the language, uh, it has a lot. So MS uh, StoreKit by Mugant Kumar, is he here? <laughs> no. So these are, by the way, the repositories coming from a developer residing in Singapore, having more than 50 stars and actively updating over the course of last 52 years. How about Phoenix? This is by Jason M23. Are you here? You'll get a Ferrero Rocher. 52 weeks. 52 weeks, last 52 weeks. It's not a stale data. 52 years, 52 weeks. <laughs> Some of us are not born. All right, uh, Lu Gyatue. Are anybody's repositories listed here? None? Come on. Don't be shy. Uh, how about Matthew Chiok? Are you here? Ferrer Rocher. LXID. No, right? Stan is not here, right? Or uh, Matthew Chiok. Matthew has seemed to be. Maybe this is like where Soup can contact these people to kind of come and speak here. Termi or uh, Chronic. Hong Cheng, no, Hong Cheng is not here. Uh, Kent, no, Kent is not here. So once again, so well, oh well I missed a chance to give out for Roche, but once again, go and check out these repositories. Uh, next up, um, we also have a map. Uh, so if you are a new uh, meetup group uh, you want to organize, you can go to these venues, and these are the commonly used venues of the course of past year, once again. And yeah, the call to action is basically come and organize meetups or join in uh, as open source repository contributors. You can also raise uh, issues here if you find anything about this project. Or um, check out other graphs here. We also have things like, say, what are, which is the popular event day of the week? Have you ever wondered when, when most events are held? It's, it's th yeah, Thursday. Why does the organizers love Thursday? I don't know. But, yeah, obviously Sunday is the, is the least one, and Monday is the least one as well. But yeah, Tuesday and Thursday seems to be a lot popular. So maybe if you want to organize a new meetup group, you should have it on Wednesday, you know, to kind of balance it off. But yeah, things like that. And lastly, this is a very simple thing, notes.webuild.sg. So if you have any links uh, on how to create uh, repositories, uh, how to contribute to open source, or even organize one, send in a pull request, or just tweet at us, and we will add it in. Uh, yeah, that's it. So. My call to action will be like, come for the meetups and uh, join in the open source repositories and contribute. And hopefully, we can all learn together as a developer community. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any questions? No? All right, thanks.